Hello everyone, welcome to my video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Ok guys, I'm gonna put the vectors link in my description. So firstly let's start with locking the background. Ok, we have this calendar, let's see it. And firstly let's close these hands. Let's select them. Hand right to, left hand, left arm. Ok, firstly let's give the animations to our calendar. Ok, let's start with the numbers. Let's select it and go to window, animation composer 3 and this one. Let's see it. Okay, nice. And let's select all these numbers and give the same animation to it. Okay, let's see. Okay, now let's give it some randomly and move it like this, its numbers, so it will be smoothly. Ok guys, now let's check it. Ok, it looks good now. Maybe we can change this, so it will be more smoothly because it's kinda very fast and we don't want it so much fast let's check it ok this one is better let's change it for all of them ok it's all done and let's check it now ok this one is more better and now let's go to these circles we're gonna give it some animations with the right hand and let's open it and as you can see we have pen we're gonna use pen for this circle first let's list first let's select this circle 4 and go to solo and let's select the pen tool let's select this circle like that It's kinda not smooth, we're gonna make it. So it will cover the whole circle. Okay, this one looks good. And now go to FX presets. Let's search for the stroke. And add the stroke for this circle 4. Let's increase the brush size like this so it covers the full circle. And from paint style, let's select it, reveal original image. And now go to N, make a keyframe, let's change it to zero, and go to 10 keyframe. For that, you can use hold shift and page down. And now let's change it to 100. Let's see it. Ok, it looks good, but it's kinda very fast. Let's select the keyframes, move it like this with holding alt. And right mouse, keyframe assistant and easy is. Let's see it now. Ok, this one is more better. Now let's unsolo circle 4. And firstly let's select pen and link it to hand right and hand right 2. Link it to hand right. Let's see it. Okay, it's good. And let's select this hand right. Press P and make position keyframe. And go to here. So that's where the circle starts. Actually, let's move it to up. And let's see. Okay, it needs more. This one is more better. Let's go here and move to here. 
go some keyframes move to here go to here okay and go to last one let's move to here let's see it okay as you can see there is some problem so let's select the keyframes and make it easy let's see it now okay it needs some help let's go by keyframe let's move it to the up okay go some keyframes again so with that it will follow the this line. Okay, let's see it now. Okay, this one is more better. Let's check it. Okay, nice. And now we can give animation to this end actually. Let's go to here and move it to there. Let's see it. Okay, this one is more better. And now let's give animation to 14. Let's select it, go to solo, and go to pen tool again, or you can use G for it. And let's make stroke for this one as well. Okay, go to FX presets again and let's add stroke to it as well. Let's change the brush size. Okay, this one is good, but there is some problem, so let's move it like this. Okay, this one is more better. And change it to reveal original image. And let's end keyframe, make it 0, go to 10 keyframe and make it 100 and press U to see keyframes and make it easy ease. and hold ALT move it to right let's see it ok this one is good and now let's give animation to our hand again let's move our hand to here And let's see from where the circle starts. Okay, this one is good. And now move it to the right. As we did it in fourth circle. Okay, let's move it again. I'm doing it keyframe by keyframe because I want it there is no mistake, so that's how you can do it. Okay, it's done. Now uh, let's check it. As you see, there is some problem in the fourth circle. It's moving to there. So let's fix it. Okay, now let's check it again. Okay, this one is more better. And now let's make animation for the third circle, which is the circle 25. Let's select it and go to solo. And let's do the same for it. Press G and make mask. And now go to FX presets, let's select the stroke, change brush size again, and reveal original image. And let's make end keyframe, make it 0, and go to 10 keyframe, let's change it to 100. And select the keyframes, make it easy and hold ALT, move it to the right 
Bishop C pion. Okay, good. Now let's give the animation to our right hand again. Move it to the here. A little bit up. Okay, this is good. Now let's give the same animation to it as well. Okay, nice. Let's see it. Okay, it's good. And now let's press here and go to thin keyframe. Let's move our right hand to the right. And let's give the animation to our left hand. And select this left hand too and paper vectors and link to left arm. Let's select left arm. Okay, it's good. Go to solo. Let's move to anchor point to the down. Okay, nice. And select this left arm. Press R. Make a rotation keyframe. Go back to 10 keyframe. Press shift and page up. And change rotation like this. Go to 10 keyframe. Let's change it to 30. Or maybe 20. And go 10 keyframe again. Let's change it to minus 10 or minus 20. And go to 10 keyframe again. Let's change it to 10 or maybe 5. And go one more time. Let's change it to 0. Let's select the keyframes. Make easy. Let's see it. Let's do it this keyframe and move this one to here. Let's see it now. Okay, it looks more better. And now select circle, go to window, animation composer, and give it animation overshoot scale. Let's move this to here. Let's save this rotation keyframe, 12, let's see it now, okay this one is more better, and select this paper 1, press S and make scale keyframe, and press this icon and change it to 0, go to 10 keyframe, let's change it 110, and go one more time 10 keyframe, let's make it 95, and go one more time, let's make it 100. And select the keyframes, make it easy. And hold out, move it to the left. Okay, select the keyframes, move it to the left. And now select this keyframe, let's add for the every sentence. Okay, it's all done. Let's see the, our animation again. Okay guys, as you can see, there is some problem with our right hand. Now let's fix it. For that, go to shape layer and make shape like this. Okay, close the stroke and enable the fill ok now select this shape layer and link to the right hand
and now let's duplicate it with Ctrl D and move it to the up and let's change the shape color go to here and select this one and select this shape too and move it to the down let's move it like this and press S, let's change the scale Okay, it's fixed now. And now let's select the hand right pen and hand right tool. Let's move it to the up and go to pen tool and let's make a check line here. Okay, let's close the fill and change the stroke. Okay, it's good. And change color to green. Select this shape layer and let's link it to paper. Okay, now select this shape layer, go to here and let's add trim pads. And open trim pads, go to here. Let's add end keyframe, let's make it zero. And go to thin keyframe, let's make it 100. And select keyframes, make it easy. easy. And Move it to like this. Okay, now select this handwrite and make a static keyframe for it. And go to here. And delete this keyframe. And go one. Go to here. Move to the down. And go again. and move to the up and select this shape layer 3 move it to under the pen let's see it now ok it's kinda fast and select this keyframes move to right see it now okay, as you can see there is some problem select this keyframes and go to keyframe interpolation let's make it liner let's see it okay this one is better So guys, thanks for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.